YouTube. What's up? It's your boy CEO Havashan. We back with another video. And um I'm gonna just say this. Um uh, so that video that got corrupted and all, I'm not gonna do that today actually. Something happened today at work. I experienced some shit that I was like, you know what? I'd rather just talk about this today and get to that another day. Um and you could tell by the title, obviously it's really about just dealing with your coworkers or how to the best way, I guess. Um, Cause yeah, I had like a weird ass day. I'm not going to lie to you. So like, basically like I came to work. One of the person, like I work with, I usually have another partner or like someone to work with. Um, that person called off, which is totally fine. You feel me? Um, but you know what I'm saying? I call my supervisor and all that, and I just let him know what's up. And he was like, you know, I'm finna find you somebody. And I was like, cool. My job's chill, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, it's not something that I'm pressed about, you feel me? But then the person that he found me, yeah, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say they had a, um, it was an interesting character. Let's just say that, you feel me? Um, respectfully. Um, but basically I just want to start off before I even go into what happened with me, just like, because you clicked on this video, you've obviously seen the title of the video. Uh, so I'm just going to reaffirm this and like remind y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like you basically go, you basically go to work, um, to serve like a purpose at the end of the day. And, you know, you doing whatever that is that you do at work at most, at like, Basically, at the end of the day, you get paid for or at in most cases, it's like, you know, at the end of the week or biweekly, right? Biweekly, meaning every two weeks, um, right? Every two weeks or is it every other week? Bro, I don't, bro, biweekly. All right. Yeah, I think it's every two weeks. Fuck. Biweekly because you... I think it's every other week. I don't, bro, I'm not going to waste time on this. You know what I mean. At the end of the day, those who work, you know what I'm talking about. I've had a long day today. I can't even really think about it. Um, But yeah, like <laughs> basically, however, like I really want to just redo this, but I'm not going to. I got to keep it pushing. Uh, basically, anyways, for the work that you do, this the purpose that you serve, you get compensated, right? But you don't, you don't, you don't go to work and you don't get paid to argue with each other, um, to like show aggress aggression. You don't go, you don't get paid to go to work, to be rude for no reason. You feel me? I'm just keeping it all the way, all the way one hundred. Um. And so basically today at work for me, I was met with that type of situation where I had to keep myself grounded, of course. Um, and I think as as life goes on and with every type of experience that you get, you obviously are able to like deal with that and like also learn how to deal with that and cope. But anyways, uh, whenever you're met like with some type of issue at work, you know what I'm saying? Definitely see if you can go ahead and just, like, try to work it out with that person in a calm manner. Um, meaning, like, listen um, listen to them first so they understand, hey, like, you got their attention. And listen closely to whatever they say and make sure you understand their points. Um, but then when it's your turn to speak, you feel me, um, to resolve it or get your two cents in or whatever it may be, you feel me? Um, and if they start interrupting you, um, then honestly, it's not worth it. Just get it, get it to the next person, like who's higher up. So the, your leadership or whatever it is, why waste your time, your energy? You're not getting paid to argue with this person, let alone be scolded in that sense. You feel me? Like, um, like, you don't want to lose your job over some bullshit. You feel me? You don't want to lose your job over some 
type of reaction that, you know what I'm saying, might feel so good in that second. But really, that reaction is a negative reaction, so you don't even want that. But you you get what I'm what I mean by that. It's like you don't want to just throw yourself back at that person to just show them like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Then you're like really feeling entitled. Let that other person feel entitled because at the end of the day, you get you get paid the same rate. Um, in that sense, you feel me? So it's like. You know, there's nothing that really defines you um, or makes you stand out, you know what I'm saying, um, in terms of the job description or whatever that makes you, f like, seem that you get paid more or anything. The only thing that defines you really is your characteristics, your character, you feel me, Who, how you act, how you control yourself. Um, but, yeah, like... Basically, if you can't resolve it, bro, just give it up to the next person that's involved, like responsible, because at the end of the day, you don't want to be in a situation where now you both get disciplined, let alone you both have like you even when you didn't do shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't want to be the person losing your job over some shit like that. You feel me? Like it's just not worth it because at the end of the day, you go to work to what get paid for whatever you're doing. You don't get paid to deal with someone else's shit. That's what you got leadership for. That's what that's what you got a manager for in that sense. HR, all that. Um, you know what I'm saying? So just remain calm. Like, why are you? I don't I don't know what people like. I, <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Like the person that I was dealing with, you feel me? Like we we had a clear communication. They were new there. So I definitely told them exactly what they needed to know. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let them know when I was coming back. Um, and they still were acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because like this person that I was working with really was feeling themselves in some type of way because not only did they disrespect me, which I could care less because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. I'm just getting paid for what I do there not to deal with that person. So at the end of the day, when I go home, or I guess, I mean, I'm making a video about this, but this is for to teach y'all for the future. Like whenever you have your first job or any type of, you know, some people might not even think about this when they're at work, but I'll just give you a perspective, you know what I'm saying? But you get what, what I mean. At this point, you know what I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. But basically what I was saying is like, I'm not going to let this person get to me, but this person was on some like major like they they even hung up on my own supervisor bro like the supervisor went to go talk to this person right on the phone and this person dead ass is hung up don't have that type of characteristic don't be that person because at the end of the day like it's just not worth it and and that really is a bad look you feel me like that stuff can actually like you know what i'm saying you might be like okay f this job or whatever but you know like that's why they have references. That's why they, there's a thing called references where they call back and check on your old job and see what type of person you are. So like audit the way you react, the way you, you, you carry yourself. That's some type of shit that really carries on with your with your life too, to a certain extent. And especially if it's in the work world, you don't want that type of behavior to, you know, be something that is now put on record and describes you as a person. Um, you feel me? Like, it's just not worth it. <sighs> um, but yeah, like, I hope that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, like you, you, you're not like, you're not tattletelling or you're not telling on them. You're making sure that you ensure that you don't lose your job. You don't lose your position. And also you're choosing to not waste any more energy into that situation. Like, that's what your supervisor's dead ass getting paid for to deal with that kind of stuff, uh, to resolve things like that. And then that's why you got also the supervisors have their own managers. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, the supervisor tried to talk to this person. This person hung up on the phone, right? Well, now that that person hung up on the phone, he can't do anything more but to report that to his higher ups, which is my higher, higher up in that sense. You feel me? Like, there's levels to it. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's all about respect. 
And uh, if that person doesn't have respect, don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. It's not worth it. Like for what? Just for a few seconds of how I told you so or like getting back at them. No, I'm good. I'm not going to waste my energy on you. I'm going to just let things carry out how they are going to carry out. Uh, and for me personally, I'm glad that I just gave it to my soup because I mean, it's a soup that I fuck with and I trust him. But at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? It's his responsibility. I've been a supervisor. I was an intern. I worked myself up to an intern at on campus. So I understand, like, your the people that you work for with and all that. Like, there are people, there's levels to it, and you got to, like, respect each other. And there's, there's no respect. If it doesn't start out with respect, then, like, you don't you don't want that in your area. And I told my boss, you know, or the soup, I was like, you know what? I'll I'll take the rest. Like, let me just work here on my own for the rest of the day. I'm good. Like, I thought it would be good to have another person with me. But I'm not going to deal with someone like that. I'm good. They can go home, like, f straight up. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do I what do I look like just standing or, like, not standing, but just being around that all day? I'm good. Feel me? A great way of removing that toxicity. You feel me? So, um, yeah, I hope that made sense. You feel me? What else? That? I just want to make sure I'm on track. You feel me? Um, like, why argue just for for you both to have a chance of being disciplined, not worth it at all. It's all money in. And it's about the work and hustle you display, right? Um, again, don't let someone just feel entitled to use some slang, some disgusting language to provoke you. Like, instead, keep your head up and do you. Um, and then lastly, just remind yourself why you're there, right? And if the situation has occurred, if the situation that has occurred doesn't align with your works val with your works value as well description of the job, then do the right thing and remove yourself from that space of negativity, right? Exactly what I did. Uh, and let the people who are responsible in resolving it do so. And that's exactly what I did. You feel me? Um, so yeah, I hope that made sense. Again, um, actually, let's just finish off with the quote. You feel me? So there's a quote that, um, or a screenshot that I had that I was like, whoa, this, this relates for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, it says, stay away from people who think you're trying to argue every time you express yourself. One more time. This, this, this goes outside of work too, but like in my situation, this is a perfect example of what I did. Um, and you should do, um, if you're ever met with this type of situation, um, yeah, but stay yeah, again. Here it is. Stay away from people who think you're trying to argue every time you express yourself. What did I say before? What did my dad say to me that now I'm telling you the best way of an ar argument or the best way of an argument is to keep silent. What was that? The best way of an argument or the best thing. What was it? The best way of an argument. Yeah. The best way of an argument is to keep silent. Like. That's the best way of an argument. Yeah. I don't know why I confused myself for that. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, man, it's crazy out here. You feel me? Like I was just trying to be on some positive shit. Not even trying to. I did. I was on a positive note. I, I guess I ended my day on a positive note. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope that makes sense. Um, and I know I said I was going to make two videos today, but to be honest, I feel like this was as valuable as it gets. The other one was going to be a reflection like that. Let's reflect, but we're going to reflect tomorrow. You feel me? I feel like we literally just reflected on what we should do. I reflected on my day and I shared it with y'all. So it's technically a two in one type of video, but we definitely going to get that in tomorrow. And then stay tuned to the, the video. I haven't even told you what type of video that I'm going to post, but um, that I was trying to post, but it got corrupted. But it's good. We'll we'll figure that out. Um, not figure it out. We'll probably post it Sunday. And if not Sunday, we'll definitely get in on Monday. Anyways, it's your boy, CEO Habisha, and we out. Peace. Love y'all.